Good afternoon everyone. In today's video we are going to be looking at a severe weather threat across the south and the midwest this weekend. What you just saw was the day four and the day five outlooks from the storm prediction center severe weather outlook. So on day four this is going to be valid on Saturday. As you can see we have a 15% chance for severe thunderstorms across portions of Kansas, Missouri, Illinois, Iowa and Wisconsin there and that's where you again have a 15% chance of severe a weather of a severe weather risk being issued that day and usually when these do get uh, issued this early usually these uh, types of in, of events do typically have more confidence in happening because they're issuing it so far out. I think they actually issued this on day five and day six, and I'm pretty sure they did issue this uh, just last night or very early this morning. So uh, again, this confidence level is definitely rising with this uh, potential potential severe weather uh, threat for day five, which is Sunday. We have a another 15% chance of for severe weather across portions of Oklahoma, Arkansas, Tennessee, and Texas. Also, just a little bit of Missouri there in southeastern Missouri. So again, uh, another chance for severe weather across those areas. Let's look at service-based Cape values here. So. Let's go ahead and move forward and the severe weather threat is going to actually happen. So let's go to a Saturday here. And this is going to be 12 a.m. of a Saturday. We have a line of Cape values reaching from Texas all the way up there into Nebraska. And as we move forward throughout Saturday, as you can see, a lot of that Cape values is really going over here with uh, potentially 500 joules per kilogram. It's, again, uh, enough to get those storms really rolling in these uh, portions of Kansas, Nebraska, Iowa, and so those types of areas. And these storms I am expecting to probably form just in the early afternoon hours across portions of uh, western Iowa, maybe eastern Nebraska. Those storms are going to be starting to fire, I am assuming. Just because of those Cape values are already reaching portions of uh, western Iowa, southern Iowa as well. Uh, around 12 p.m. of Saturday already reaching upwards of 500 joules per kilogram. So let's go and look at the supercell composite. As you can see, we do have a definite risk of supercells with uh, possibly uh, that yellow and orange colors, meaning that higher risk for supercells developing, and it's a very good chance for those supercells. A lot of it's going to be a wind threat, but tornadoes is also not going to be out of the question. So definitely stay tuned at what we. We'll have much more details on this as we head forward. Right now, there's not too many details on ingredients and stuff like that and tornado risks. But uh, about two days from now is when we'll get a lot of those details in and we'll get much more of that information out. Now, here's a supercell risk for Sunday. As you can see, it is pretty much the same uh, type of risk as up there in the midwest except uh, it's a lot more widespread as you can see uh, most of it is going to be green but uh, as you can see there's some yellow so still uh, quite the decent chance for uh, that tornado risk to pop up there in oklahoma texas and arkansas so you'll be aware of that uh, and you're still going to have a decent tornado risk with this it's just not going to be a huge tornado threat mainly because we're going to have not that much shear in the area but you're still uh, those storms are going to be super cellular, which is still going to have that chance uh, for maybe a 20 or two, both of these risk areas. Let's look at the moisture, the dew point temperatures. So the more, uh, the higher the dew point, uh, the more moisture. So that's going to give a lot of these storms more fuel. It's going to up that tornado risk if you do have a lot more moisture that these storms can really pick up. So this is going to be Saturday when these storms, uh, just before they fire here. So 55 Fahrenheit, it's not a ton of moisture but it's gonna have enough moisture to get those storms going uh, by that time and it's gonna give that cold front just enough here to just fire uh, those storms across the western Iowa western Missouri as well uh, now let's move forward to Saturday uh, and you're gonna see this moisture of quite high much higher than over here in the Midwest with upwards of 65 Fahrenheit so those storms are going to have a much more likelihood of firing very quickly and it's going to have a lot more stronger storms here 
uh, because of uh, so much moisture, and you usually see much more moisture down here in the south, usually in March rather than the Midwest, uh, because the Midwest could still see some snowstorms, and you're not getting a lot of moisture yet up there in March and early April up there in the Midwest. So you don't usually see too much setups in the in March uh, throughout the Midwest or the Northeast throughout the Midwest and stuff like that. Just because of the moisture is not likely to really reach that far up uh now as you can see again we have a lot of moisture here reaching up to 65 fahrenheit of dew points again it's gonna be a lot of moisture to keep those storms really going in the south i'm gonna have more details throughout the next few days stay tuned by subscribing to the channel so you won't miss a single upload or live stream also make sure to share this video with any friends or family that may want the latest update on uh, the latest updates on uh, this severe weather potential. But as always, stay safe.